Hello, let's take a journey, a journey to the well. First, we must empty ourselves of the misconception that we have on the way life should be. In the year 2020, did we imagine our lives being this way? Pandemics, closure, extreme amount of racial tension, no peace, no love, violence. How did it leave us? It left us empty, afraid, unsure, probably many, many emotions, many, many feelings, and not, know what, not knowing what to do with them. So we're at the well, and we're gonna remove that misconception of the way we thought life should be. We're gonna do that by five points I hope to share, short points. We're gonna do that one by increasing our self-belief. Do you believe in yourself? If you don't believe in yourself, then how are you guided to believe in someone else? Do you know where you are with your spiritual, your emotional, and your physical beliefs? Do you know where you are with that? Are you just saying that you're okay? It's okay to not be okay. So what do you do with that? You reach out for resources, positive resources that surround you. You can take that fear away and that pride away and say, I need some help. I don't understand. How am I gonna get through this? What am I going to do to help my days of life be more easy to get through, to relate to my friends, my neighbors, or who's ever in my surrounding? It can be done. Increase your own self-belief. Self is important. Remember that. Number two, you're gonna work through adversity. Especially when it comes to race relations, it is not easy. It is not easy to have those conversations. I'm old enough and wise enough to tell you that it is not easy to have those conversations. So you as young adults, how do you do that? First of all, you be sure that you are in the right mind to have that conversation. You don't want to enter a conversation of difference with anger, walking into it angry already. You want to go in with the idea you want to meet to have an understanding how other people feel. What makes you feel that way? What makes me feel this way? What can I do to balance my emotions? We're looking for facts, we're looking for truth but we can only manage to work together in peace. And where there is love, there is peace. We can do that with understanding. Even as as young as you are, irregardless to the way that you have been taught, the things you have seen, the things you have heard, what is your beliefs? So that is working through adversity. You want to develop a positive image, and that is on you. How positive are you about yourself? Do you want to be surrounded with negative people? No. Then don't present yourself as a negative person. I know you can do that. Are we always, always right and always up high and never down low? No, that's not true. But we can bring it back in and settle ourselves to be on the path that we should be. We're going to be courageous. And when I say courageous, that means if you believe, stand but don't cross the boundaries of others. Know what you're speaking of, have the knowledge base to talk about what you want to talk about and not out of anger. Do we care what you have to say? Most definitely, because it is important what each person has to bring to the table. You're gonna be surrounded in life by various of people and beliefs and and colors and faith but what you feel and believe is still as important so whatever you have to share share it in a meaningful way be polite and kind and what i'm hoping for you today is that you have a clear understanding that you are somebody somebody loves you and somebody want to keep their loving arms around you And we here at CU want you to prosper in all areas. So remember this, we love you. God loves you too much 
not to answer your prayers at the right time. And we are here for you at the right time. Ta-da!